at six tonight, a real life angel is making a world of difference right now for one man as he battles cancer. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Lilia Wood has the story for us. I can figure anything out, but I can't figure out this cancer thing. <laughs> Multiple myeloma is a weird beast. Scott Woodward has been living with cancer for 15 years. The doctor said, well, you know, we're going to be able to keep you alive for a while, but it's going to suck. <laughs> and please try and find one of these new novel therapies. The Akron man signed up for a trial two years ago that put genetically modified T cells back into his body to help fight off the cancer. Just a few weeks later, instead of going to hospice, there was no evidence of disease. Woodward still needs to get to his doctor's appointments at John Hopkins Medical Center in Baltimore. Yet airports and hotels became a risky option during the pandemic. They don't know what my T cells might do with this virus. Beautiful day to fly. That's when a stranger opened his wings. There's my angel. <laughs> Woodward met John Greco last year. My angel hath arrived. When Greco volunteered to pick up Woodward and fly him to his appointments. Okay, we're ready for another trip. Huh? We are ready for another trip. Baltimore, here we come. Greco volunteered through Angel Flight East, a nonprofit that helps patients get to their medical treatments far from home. I have a long way to go to be an angel, I guess. But I like to uh, try and help as much as I can. Greco will bring Woodward home to Akron on Friday, just in time for his grandson's birthday. I'm alive because of him. I get to go to Becker's birthday. <laughs> He'll be five in a couple weeks. You know, it's just incredible. In Akron, Lilia Wood, 7 Eyewitness News. Oh, Scott, we are so glad that you are doing well and that you are able to do some of your favorite things. A lot of local pilots here who help out these people. It's Aww. really great, great to see. Aww.